Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to jump start a vehicle the right way using jumper cables. There is a proper way of doing this. A lot of people don't follow that method, but this way will prevent battery from exploding, frying computers, ruining any sort of component on your car. So this is our dead car right here. We've got a live car behind us that we'll look at here in a second. The live car can be running or be off, but if you want to be extra safe, I would shut it off for this process. You make your first connection on the positive of the dead car. Now on this thing, you want to make sure that you base it on the symbols, not on wire colors, because wire colors can sometimes be wrong. So right here's our positive, here's our negative, so we're going to make our first connection on the positive of our dead car. And then don't be, a lot of people are tempted to make, go ahead and make the negative connection right now, but if we do that, we're going to have a live circuit and if our cables on the other end accidentally touch, we're gonna short. So we're actually just gonna leave this here. We're gonna pick up our cables and go to our live car. First connection we make on our live car after verifying our symbols is the positive again. So, so far there is no complete circuit. Then we're gonna hook up our negative on the running vehicle. And we're gonna go back to the dead car and hook up our last connection. Now we don't want to make this last connection on the negative of the battery itself. This is where you can have problems because all this potential energy we've just built up is now going to be released in this last connection. It will always spark when I make this last connection. And there's hydrogen gas as a byproduct of this battery process. So we don't want to make that hydrogen gas go off. So we're actually going to make our last connection with this cable on engine ground, okay? So as I look at this engine, there's not a ton of options. You're looking for something that's cast iron or steel, non-painted, not really close to the fuel rail or anything like that. So this engine really only has one option that I can see. I mean, maybe there's a few things, but right here is the hook that you would actually use to lift this engine out. If you were taking it out, you could do there, or you could do it on some of these bolts over here on the engine mount, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go right here and see how it sparked. That's the reason we don't do it on the battery. So now we're ready to jump start this vehicle. We already have the live car running, so we could go ahead and try to start the dead car. If it doesn't start immediately, do not rev the live car. A lot of people will do that. There is no purpose in revving the live car because the generator or the alternator on that car has a voltage regulator in it that makes the voltage the same no matter what the engine speed is. So that's not gonna help you. So if you need, if it doesn't jump right away, just let it run for a little bit, wait five minutes or so, and then try it again. Okay? So that is how you jump start a car the right way. And then when you're finished, go ahead and just remove your cables in the opposite order that you put them on. And that just prevents any sort of problems. Okay, there you go.